One of the galleries featured at the pop-up art gallery belongs to my next guest this morning. Him and his wife Helen own Harrison Gallery, which is located in Key West on White Street. Now along with doing this, he's also a playwright, he's an author and a musician. He has a delightful sense of humor with a wonderful storytelling ability. In case you haven't heard his music, all of his songs, they paint a picture. Now his books and his plays are all fueled by a wonderful sense of the ridiculous. I can only imagine what he's up to next. Ben, thank you so much for being back well, on the show. Well, it's very kind of you to have me. <laughs> well, it's always wonderful having you on the show. I love talking with you, Ben. And the last time you were on the show, you recently released an e-book entitled Charlie Jones. Yes. How's Charlie Jones? Well, uh, Charlie's got some problems. It's <laughs> my, first, my first novel. It's a generational novel. Mm -hmm. It's not a, a, a mystery or a, a murder mystery or anything like that, but um, it it's deals in art, uh, it deals with law, it deals with um, music. Um, it's set in South Texas, which is where I was raised, and I've tried to be very accurate as far as, as Texas goes. And, uh, but uh, in a novel, my other writing, Undying Love, and the other books that I've published have been uh, nonfiction. But I get to be God in a novel. <laughs> okay. I get to decide who lives, who mm -hmm. dies, who, right. where there's tragedy, where there's not tragedy. You and are in control. I am in control. And uh, one of the funny things that, that happened while I was writing it, um, Judy Bloom came into our gallery. And uh, I complimented her on, on her sex scenes in, in Summer Sisters. Mm -hmm. And she says, well, you... They were fun to read, but they were certainly fun to write. And so I said, maybe I ought to spice mine up a little bit. I mean, this is not Fifty Shades of Grey. But <laughs> not Fifty Shades of No, no, no. <laughs> Which, uh, uh, they are fun to write. And, uh -huh. and you, you do get emotionally involved in these characters that you've made up. I've cried at my own people. Your own characters, yeah. So you get so much into your characters. Do you have to almost pretend to be the characters when you're writing them? Uh, to a degree. Mm -hmm. To a degree. You, you have to get in their head. Mm -hmm. and, and that's with writing in general. Uh, when I wrote Undying Love, um, which was quite a few years back, um, I would walk around with my son on my back, uh -huh. with his little hands on my head, and, <laughs> and uh, try to think as each character would be thinking. Mm -hmm. And I, I think you do have to do that to, to get a sense of, uh, to make your characters real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now what's been the response with Charlie Jones? Do people like it? I think so. Um, I'm, we just finished the editing. Uh, it was published as an ebook, mm -hmm. and uh, I realized uh, belatedly that um, uh, it needs to have a, a hard copy as well. Mm -hmm. And so we're working on that right now. As a matter of fact, I've got the, got the, the cover, which is I love the cover. Charlie Jones. That's great. And uh, um, so we have really been heavy duty editing this thing, and it's amazing how often you can go over it and still find mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm excited about it uh, being a, a, a hard book cover because a lot of people simply don't read ebooks. Right. They want they want the book in they, front of them. They want, they want that it in their hands. In their hands. They want that paper. <laughs> All right, Ben. Now I also understand that you're starting on another book as well, right? Well, I'm in the finishing stages. Uh, Helen and I in nineteen seventy four drove from uh, San Francisco to Costa Rica mm -hmm. and built a sailboat there. Which we lived on for eleven years. And so I am finally completing the book about that. Oh, that would and, be interesting, Ben. Uh, well, it, it is. I, I, I think it's going to be a fun read because it's, it's, it's as much cultural as anything. You, you rarely get to go live in a country for as long as we did, three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And you really become absorbed in the society and you understand the society. And, and uh, uh, I, I love uh, Central America and Mexico. They, there's just a different a different philosophy in a way. If you almost have an automobile accident in Mexico, everyone's happy. Why? Because you didn't have an accident. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's just a, a very fatalistic sort of, hey, it's great, nothing happened bad. 
<laughs> so. Right, okay. Any chance of you ever going back there? Uh, I was in Saltillo recently. My son, the oldest mm -hmm. son, uh, is playing baseball down there. Okay. And I think we'll be playing winter ball down there as well. He played for the Saraperos de Saltillo. Okay. okay. Uh, just outside of Monterey. Okay. And now, Ben, one other thing that I understand that you're getting your hands into is painting again, right? Yep. <laughs> and how is that coming, Ben? <laughs> well, you know, again, it just shows I've got no common sense <laughs> um, why I would take this up. And, uh, of course, I, I had to paint people and not... I'm not going to paint a conch house, mm -hmm. so okay. so I stretched a big canvas mm -hmm. and uh, have have started on it, okay. and uh, it's um, um, she doesn't have her clothes on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, I was going to ask if we could bring it on the show, but I guess not. <laughs> well, it's it's of what again with the painting. I'm trying to tell a story. Mm -hmm. I want somebody to look at this and go, what? why is she standing behind this louvered door mm -hmm. in the middle of the day without her clothes on? Mm -hmm. uh, she's obviously thinking, and uh, the sun is coming through the windows. And, but you want to make people curious as to what's mm -hmm. going on in their mind. Mm -hmm. Well, you've made me very curious right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben. If you want more information on Ben, you can check out the website located on the bottom of the screen. You can also pick up your ebook of Charlie Jones. Which is going to be a hardcover soon. And soon uh, to be a hardcover. And please stop by the, the gallery, Harrison Gallery at 827 White Street. Thank you so much, Ben, for sharing all of this Thank this you morning. very much. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.